did you lodge checks made for Accra Sports Stadium into a Kumasi account? That's the director general. The director general, chairman, the accountant is informing the committee that the director general instructed him as chief accountant to lodge checks for programs in Accra in Kumasi. Director general, is there a reason why you did that? And and then you can do a follow up answer because he said he went into spending. I only asked this best uh, lodgement. He said that you spent you spent the money. Why did you move the money to Kumasi? The question I'm asking is, my information says you raised about, you received checks totaling about 250,000 Ghana cities for sporting, non-sporting activities at the stadium, Accra Sports Stadium, specific, Accra Sports Stadium in 2023 during the festive period. 70,000 from Benetton Group, then you had um, another 50,000 from Jesus unhindered interventions limited by guarantee group that same group paid another 35,000 another 24,090 so total about 250,000 did you lodge this in your central the the nsa's central account where all lodgements are supposed to go ahead of it or did it go into your original account in kumasi mr chairman Partly was lodged in Accra and the other in Kumasi. Why? Why do you raise revenue in Accra for an event in Accra and lodge it in, in, in a different account in Kumasi? Mr. Chairman, the invoices we issue to this two um, uh, do you have an answer for the committee yes mr chairman mr chairman so i'm listening the committee would like to know why so like i said mr chairman partly was lodged in kumase you've repeated that partly already i'm asking why in kumase the director general will explain why. The direct, but you are the accountant. Lodgements are made to you. So why is the director general of the NSA supposed to explain what is your role? Is it because he directed? No, he is the spending officer. So no. Lodgement of the checks is different from disbursement of the checks. On whose order or authority? Mr. Chairman, I'm not. I did not say. He directed me to to deposit the money in the Kumasi account. What I said is part of the money was lodged in the Accra account and the rest was lodged in the Kumasi account. Chief Accountant, respectfully you are under oath. You are you are you are you are you're an elderly person. I, I have the greatest of respect for you. And, you and the, the committee is sitting here. If you want to withdraw what you said, because you except you're saying I am lying. We're all sitting in this room. I asked you, on whose authority did you lodge part of the payments into the Kumasi account? Your response to this committee under oath was the Director General. If you are withdrawing that, do so properly. I have not said otherwise. Mr. But you just contradicted so, yourself. Then, okay, then why, why did you lodge part of the check, some of the checks in Accra and then some in Kumasi? Why? My understanding was earlier they made the deposits. Those first deposits were lodged in Accra. By who? By who? Who did the lodgement? Into the Accra. Who, yes, who did it? Who did the lodgement? Myself as a chief accountant. And then the other lodgement you did in Kumasi? The other lodgement was paid, was deposited in the Kumasi account. Yes. Not and, and my question is that why? The director general should be able to. Exactly. That's what you said. Yes, sir. Director general, Chief Agantan, uh, uh, Chief Agantan, I think that you have more information. 
But because your boss is here, you are reluctant. Please don't respond. No, Mr. Chairman. That's my observation. That's my observation. You have more Mr. information. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Chairman, like I said, partly was logic. And the rest. We've heard that. I'm only saying that you have more information, but because your boss is here, you're reluctant to, to give us that information. Chairman, so can the DG so, can the DG now answer why that was done? Yes. Yeah, thank you very, very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think I need to get this information to be very sure about payment because the head office manages all accounts of the authority, both region, head office, and everywhere. It's our hours. And obviously, if you look at the auditor's uh, uh, reports, they, they, they um, assess the re revenue across all the, the, the regions. Some are in our regional and some are in the head office. He's indicating to me that uh, some payments have been done, some entered the regional. It's something that easily can be traced. It easily can be traced. For example, head office, occasionally, when we are in need of support, we make requests from some of the regions that are able to generate enough revenue to assist us. We Direct, also Director General, do that is not the issue. Yes. The so issue until here, I have, I have listen, to, listen to me. Yes. The issue here is that the chief accountant is saying that Per your directive, the checks that Honorable Sam George mentioned, you directed that some of those checks should be paid to the Kumasi account instead of the Greater Accra or the headquarters account. And the question for me is that why did you do that? What is the reason why you directed that some of those checks should be paid to Kumasi account? So don't tell us story. Just give us the reason why you that gave that directive. Honorable Chair, I think I, I, would, I wouldn't be very specific about the directive. I think it's in general. Where the accounts are not accessible. For example, I think the head office at some point, even um, I think the latter part of last year, had issues with the uh, Ganeshi. Uh, our accounts were blocked. I think you have all the copies of the latest. Ministry, uh, Chief Director is aware. Minister himself, I was even asking whether. And, and when, when, when the head of his accounts order, were, order. were garnished, it means that even if there is any payment, you can't do it into it. Well, you well, understand? Well, the well, only well, advice well, as the head of the entity will be that so long as payment is to be made to the authority, whatever available accounts can be utilized. Okay. Because okay, at, at the end of the day, you have answered the, have answered the question. The money, you have answered the question. Yes. Was there. At the Greater Accra account, was that account garnished? The, the head of his account? Yes, was it garnished? No, the account on, on, on which, into which part of the check were paid. Was that account also garnished by the uh, Bank yeah, of Ghana? The, yes, the, 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 the NSS uh, accounts which were with the, with the Bank of Ghana mm. were garnished. Yeah, but you didn't pay the check to that account. Did you pay the check to that account? Yes, so this check, check we are talking about, did you pay any of that, those checks? No, I wouldn't know. Account? I wouldn't know. But I'm saying that. Where these. Where these I also have details of the checks. Yes, but it can be. Where, where our particular account is unaccessible, definitely any one of them can be utilized. Uh, and that's why it is not going to uh, uh, for the I want or to, chief accountants' uh, accounts. No. I, I want to propose. You, you, you yes. asked your last question. The payment. But I want to propose that we'll make a recommendation. We cannot direct the Auditor General to go and do any audit. Per Article 1877 of the Constitution, we cannot direct the Auditor General, but we can make a recommendation. I want to make a recommendation, and which we we'll put in a report, that the Auditor General go and do a special audit of the Ghana National Sports Authority. It's a recommendation. You can decide to to do it, no, but listening to what is happening here, I think the place is, is, is in a mess.